short video will take you through the process of creating documentation for a COM component, an ActiveX component. Uh, so I'm going to start by clicking the new projects toolbar button in Document X, and I'm going to start with an empty project here. So that's a project that's initialized with some default values but doesn't contain any other items. So from the starting point of a completely empty project, the first thing I want to do is to add the COM component that I want to create documentation for. So I'm going to click the Add COM Component button. And for this demo, I'm just going to use the Windows scripting runtime, which is a COM component that ships with, uh, with Windows. Okay, so two things have happened here. The first one is that the COM component that I've selected has been added to the Project Explorer under the COM Components node. Um, and if I expand the component itself, I can see all the classes, structures, and enumerations contained within that particular component. As you can probably see, Document X has excluded some of the types in this um, type library. So it's excluded the, um, the ones that would be considered private by default, but I can override what Document X has done by, by default for me there to include or exclude any particular type in the documentation. The second thing that Document X has added is uh, a content file. So a content file is what is used to create additional content above and beyond what is automatically produced by Document X. So to demonstrate how that, uh, that process of authoring additional content works, if I open up the content file for Edit by double clicking it, you can see that uh, the tree uh, that we um, have displayed in the content file editor here is similar to the one on the Project Explorer with a list of our types, enumerations, structures in that particular COM component and I can click on any one of these um, classes and also drill down to individual members below that and the page as it will be generated with editable sections appears on the right hand side here um, so each of these box sections are editable areas in which I can put descriptive content the rest of the content if I um, have a look at one of the methods one of these files. So the additional content like the syntax sections, the parameters lists, all generated by Document X automatically based on what's uh, contained in the type library when I do my build. But I can add supplementary descriptions uh, to that by filling in the blanks, if you like, in these uh, areas uh, in the content file editor. Now this text that appears in grey just above my editable section, now that's a help string that's come directly from the COM component. Um, so that was added by the programmer when they created the COM component as a description for the, this particular method. So what I can do in here is make a decision um, based on what is available to me uh, as an existing description. Do I want to override that um, with a custom description in here? Do I perhaps want to just add some supplementary detail, perhaps fill in the parameters, uh, you know, the remarks with some additional detail and leave that description to come through? So by default, if I don't put in a, a, an overriding description, the preview shows that description coming from the type library. I just switched to preview mode there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just pop a description, a specific description here for the file object. And then I'm going to close the content file and save those changes. What I'm going to do now is add a, uh, another piece of information to the project here, but this time I want to create a completely separate topic uh, it's not about one particular member or class in, um, in the COM component, it's a free format conceptual topic providing perhaps a bit of background to this particular component or supporting information about the technologies it uses. So I'm going to click on the new topic button here and a free format blank topic will be opened up. So my conceptual topics can contain anything I want to include in my documentation. So perhaps I want to include a bit of introductory detail about the COM component and what it's actually designed to do. OK, so I've created my um, initial conceptual topic. What I'm going to do now is to drag that off to the table of contents so that it appears um, in that tree list of topics in the documentation when the user is viewing my help file. So I'm going to drag that down to the table of contents tab and I'm going to pop it just right at the top of the table of contents there so it's the first topic that the user comes to in my table of contents. The node below that one is a document X placeholder node and that will get replaced with all the all of the automatically generated reference documentation when the um, uh, help file is built and I'll demonstrate that in a second can see what that actually ends up being in the generated table of contents. 
So now I'm pretty much good to go. I've put a uh, basic description against one of the members. I've identified which classes and structures and enumerations I want to include in the documentation. And I've created a conceptual topic with some supporting background information and put that on the table of contents. So now I'm going to go ahead and click the build button to do my first build. OK, so the build's complete. Um, and by default, the project will generate two outputs, one that's ready for publishing on an intranet or internet site and one that's a compiled THM. So I'm just going to open up the compiled help file, bring that across. So what you can see is the table of contents includes my conceptual topic as the default topic here and also all of the reference documentation generated for that uh, com component. So each of the different classes uh, with the members list for each individual class beneath and individual methods with their syntax sections. So hopefully you can see how easy it is to get up and running with the basics of authoring for a com component documentation. So that concludes this video on getting started with creating a documentation project for a com component.